Hi friends. So in this video, we are gonna see a problem based on logarithm of complex number. So here, u plus i v is given, which is one upon i log of one plus i e raised to i theta upon one minus i e raised to i theta, and we have to prove that u is equal to pi by two and v is equal to log of sec theta plus tan theta. Now, to prove this sum, let's start with the given result. So now here, the given term is u plus i v is equal to one by i log of one plus i e raised to i theta upon one minus i e raised to i theta. Now, what I'll do is I'll send this i on left hand side so that this will become i u. And this will become i square u. That is nothing but minus v. And here on the right hand side we'll get log of one plus i e raised to i theta upon one minus i e raised to i theta. Now next I'll find the value of this numerator and denominator. Then we'll substitute the value over here. Then we'll compare the real part with the real part, imaginary part with the imaginary part. And we'll find the value for u and v. So this will become log of one plus i e raised to i theta minus log of one minus i e raised to i theta, which is i u minus v. I'll give this as equation number one. So let's find the values of these two terms and let's substitute it in equation number one. So therefore. Log of one plus i e raised to i theta is equal to log of one plus i cos theta plus i sine theta. So hence this will become log of now i into i that is i square which will become minus one. So that is nothing but minus sine theta. So this is nothing but one minus sine theta. And this is imaginary term that is plus i cos theta. Now here we have to find out the log of this term where one minus sine theta is the real part and cos theta is the imaginary part. And we all know the formula for logarithm of complex number. So I'll apply the formula here and we'll get the value for logarithm of complex number. So which is equal to one by two log of one Minus sine theta, the whole square, plus cos square theta, plus i tan inverse of cos theta upon one minus sine theta. Now I'll give this as equation number two. Now similarly, I'll find value of this second term. So we will get log of One minus i e raised to i theta as log of one minus i cos theta plus i sine theta. Now, if we'll observe here, then this i into i is i square, which is minus one. But due to this minus sign, that will become plus. So plus sine theta. And in log term, we will get one plus sine theta. And minus cos i cos theta will remain as it is. So now again, we have to find the logarithm of complex number. So by applying the formula, we will get one by two log of one plus sine theta the whole square plus cos square theta, and here we'll get minus of i tan inverse of Cos theta upon one plus sine theta. I'll give this as equation number three. Now we'll substitute the values of equation two and three in equation number one. So therefore, from one, two, and three, we will get i u minus v is equal to the value of the first term is one by two. Log of one minus sine theta the whole square plus cos square theta plus i 
tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta. Similarly, <coughs> the second term will give us 1 by 2 log of 1 plus sin theta the whole square plus cos square theta and that will become minus i tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 plus sin theta. Now as here we have a negative sign the sign of the terms inside the bracket will change. So first term will become minus and the second term will become plus. So here this term will become minus of half log of this bracket and we have half of log of this bracket. So here I can take half outside and since both terms are logarithm I can apply the formula of logarithm. So that is nothing but log a minus log b which will become log of a by b. So this term will become log of 1 minus sin theta the whole square plus cos square theta upon 1 plus sin theta the whole square plus cos square theta. Similarly, this will become plus i tan inverse of the term. So from this two term I can take i outside and inside the bracket we can get tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta plus tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 plus sin theta. Now let's solve this term. So here the first term is the real term and the second term is the imaginary. So we'll compare this real part with this minus v because here v is real and we'll compare this imaginary part with this u because here u is imaginary. So let's solve this. So this term will give us 1 by 2 log of the bracket that is 1 minus sin theta the whole square plus cos square theta upon 1 plus sin theta the whole square plus cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 log of here the formula is 1 minus 2 sin theta plus sin square theta plus cos square theta upon 1 plus 2 sin theta plus sin square theta plus cos square theta. So I am applying the formula of a minus b the whole square and a plus b the whole square. So this will become sin square theta plus cos square theta 1. This 1 and 1 will give me 2. So I will get 2 minus 2 sin theta in the numerator and again this is 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 plus 2 sin theta in the denominator. Now I can take 2 outside from numerator as well as in de from denominator and it will be cancelled. So we will get 1 by 2 log of 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus sin theta. Now to solve this I will multiply this term with the conjugate of denominator. So this will become 1 by 2 log of 1 minus sin theta and 1 plus sin theta as it is. The conjugate of denominator is 1 minus sin theta, same term 1 minus sin theta in the numerator which will give us 1 by 2 log of, now the denominator will become 1 minus sin square theta and numerator will become 1 minus sin theta the bracket square. So this will become log of 1 minus sin theta the bracket square upon cos square theta. So here I am applying the formula of trigonometry. Now I can take this square common from numerator as well as from denominator which will come in the power and that too will go here and will multiply half because of the property log a raised to b equal to b log a. So that 2 into half will be cancelled and will get log of 1 minus sin theta upon cos theta. 
now after dividing this numerator by this cos theta separately we will get the value as log of 1 by cos theta minus sin theta by cos theta and this will give me sec theta minus tan theta now this value we are finding it for one by two log of this term which is a real part on right hand side so if i compare this with the real part on the left hand side then real part here is minus v so i can say that this value is equal to minus v now due to that the v will become minus of log of sec theta minus tan theta so again here i'll apply the property log of 1 upon sec theta minus tan theta now again multiplying this term with the conjugate will get log of sec theta minus tan theta into sec theta plus tan theta similarly in the numerator we will get sec theta plus tan theta now this denominator will become sec square theta minus tan square theta and value of which is equal to 1 so finally we got log of sec theta plus tan theta and this is the required value of v so we have proved the first result now let's come to the second part now we are the second part is tan inverse of this first bracket plus tan inverse of the second bracket now here i will apply one formula that is tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of b so by applying the formula we will get tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta plus tan inverse of cos theta upon 1 plus sin theta equal to tan inverse of a plus b that is cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta plus cos theta by 1 plus sin theta whole divided by 1 minus a into b that is cos theta 1 minus sin theta into cos theta 1 plus sin theta now this will give us tan inverse of so in the numerator we will do a cross multiplication so that we will get cos theta into 1 that is cos theta second term cos theta sin theta next by multiplying this 1 minus sin theta with cos theta we will get cos theta minus sin theta cos theta and the denominator will become 1 minus sin square theta similarly in the denominator we will get this will become cos square theta that is cos theta into cos theta this is 1 minus sin square theta which will multiply this 1 and that will become 1 minus sin square theta this minus n as it is and in the denominator we will get 1 minus sin square theta now by cancelling the denominator and by cancelling this term that is plus sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta we will get 2 cos theta in the numerator and the here 1 will remain as it is minus sin common in the bracket we will get sin square theta plus cos square theta which is again 1 and this 1 minus 1 will give us 0 so tan inverse of 2 cos theta upon 0 is nothing but tan inverse of infinity and this will give us pi by 2 now 
we got here the value as pi by 2. So after substituting this value here in this equation, here we will get i pi by 2. And if I will compare this with the left hand side, that is imaginary part, that is i u, we will get u equal to pi by 2. And this is the second required result. Thank you.